my uh, visit to Dubrovnik feels uh, ruined. More on that later. Welcome to beautiful and sunny Split. And uh, you see the smoke over there? That's coming from an island that is behind that hill. And that is a big forest fire. I know that because I've seen the flames from the bus and the bus station. I wasn't able to film it, but anyway, if you don't believe in climate change, here it is. Actually, that forest fire, that seems to be pretty close. I am happy that it's on another island. I think I took the wrong decision by walking to my place to stay. Alright, so I finally found my hostel. I just got in, dumped my bag and uh, walked to a pizza place nearby and grabbed something to eat because I was so hungry. By the way, it took some time to get to this hostel because uh, Google Maps... What is it with Google Maps? I mean, two times Google Maps, Maps said to me that I was about to turn to get to my hostel, but there was no street in real life, and that happened two times. So I had to take a couple of reroutes to get to my hostel. And by the way, the hostel is its a cheap one. This is a student accommodation, not during summer then, but I paid like 50 euros for one night, including breakfast. And by the way, I checked out from my hostel today. I was super tired yesterday, so I fell asleep early and I slept all night. I slept like a baby, and it's a short stay here in Split, because uh, today I am going to Dubrovnik with Jadro Linja, and I am soon about to board. And by the way, the fire I was talking about uh, yesterday, it is still going on over there, but it is much, much, much smaller. And I haven't seen any flames, but I've seen a little bit of uh, smoke. So I just disembarked the ferry from Split and I am currently in Dubrovnik in the south of Croatia and it's dark but Dubrovnik looks beautiful even though it's probably very difficult to see in the uh, video. So I made it to Academis Academica which is my hotel here in uh, Dubrovnik and it seems like a nice one and I just want to mention one thing, there is a really, really big party going on outside. And when I say really big, I mean really, really, really big. You can hear the music from a far distance and it was really, really annoying, I think. But I got a room with an inner yard, so I don't hear anything. And that's super good for me because if I would have had a room next to the main street, I would potentially have a very bad night and that is going to cause a lot of INH problem for me and um, that's not good so I'm happy about this and I just have to say one thing about uh, this room I must say I actually really really love this uh, door that you have here it seems so simple but so nice too and one thing it's the official Lou review now and uh, 
I mean, uh, seems like a nice one. This is luxury for me. I got a bathtub. I don't have a bathtub at home, but I love taking a bath. So this is going to be used, believe me. And actually, it's great that I have a toilet too, but I don't care that much about the toilet. It's this that is, is the most important thing now. And with that said, uh, it's time to go to bed. Old town in the Bronick. I might not talk so much while I'm filming because it's so much people, so I'm probably just going to add some music to my shots here. at my hotel now and I have been at my hotel all day and um, I have a cold and a headache and the, the headache could be IOH related I don't know but it might also be e the cold that is causing my headache and I'm just so so tired but I'm not feeling well today so I decided to stay at my room and rest and hopefully I, I will be able to do something tomorrow like go to the beach or something and uh, I also asked the front desk if it was possible to stay one extra night and it was possible so I am staying one extra night here so I will be here for a total of five nights I think and this is my second day here so hopefully I will be able to do something fun okay so this is the second day for me being sick here in Dubrovnik and it feels like my stay in Dubrovnik has been ruined and my night has been kind of tough I have been waking up with the uh, aches in my joints and uh, also started to shiver a bit so I really think that I have developed a fever so it looks like I am uh, spending a big part of my holiday in Dubrovnik in my bed and just eating at the restaurant downstairs it sucks, but uh, what can you do? When you are sick at your hotel room and the bathtub doesn't have a bath plug, I knew I would use my sterile gloves that I did bring from work. I mean, I filled it up with water and it completely plug. Dinner tonight is in the hotel room in the bath, actually. Because I still feel uh, sick, I think I still have a fever and I just didn't want to go to the restaurant tonight. So I went to the supermarket and uh, got this. And by the way, I went to the beach earlier today and it's only a 15 minute walk from here. And I don't know if it was worth it because uh, I was so tired when I came to the beach. I was still really, really tired from the infection that I have, so... It's going to be an easy night, an easy evening here at the hotel now. 
So uh, this is day three of my cold here in uh, Dubrovnik and uh, I don't have the energy to do anything. I don't have a fever now but I have other symptoms of a cold and I'm just so so tired and uh, I was thinking about going to the beach but uh, I decided against it because uh, I honestly I don't have the energy. I also wanted to visit the old town again, but um, no, Dubrovnik, I think I have to w visit you again sometimes, and it really feels like this, because uh, I really, really wanted to visit uh, Dubrovnik, that was like my main goal for this trip, but um, it is what it is. If I don't have the energy to, to do anything because of my cold, then uh, I'm just going to stay here at my hotel watching movies and reading books and stuff like that. And also, I feel like it is soon time to travel home to Sweden. But I have a couple of stops before that and I really want to have uh, the energy to uh, explore those cities and actually tomorrow I'm going with the ferry to Bari in Italy and I'm going to stay there for one night and then uh, I'm off to Milano the next day and I'm going to stay there for two nights and then I'm going to um, probably somewhere in Germany and probably Copenhagen again but I, I, don't, I haven't really decided yet but I will soon be going home and I want to have the energy to really do some fun stuff in those cities as well so it's a day off here again and uh, with that said, I think it's time to end this vlog and see you in the next one.